Hey, I'm Dr. Mike Varshavsky, and today we're gonna to be talking about how COVID-19 vaccinations work on four different levels. One to a child, one to a parent, one to a young adult student, and finally to a UNICEF immunization expert. Let's get started. Hey, Abhijay, I'm Dr. Mike Varshavsky. I'm a family medicine doctor, and I wanna to talk to you about COVID-19 vaccines. I heard you know a lot about them already, but I'm looking to see if we can collaborate on this topic. You ready? Ready. Let's get right to it. Tell me what you know so far about the COVID-19 vaccine. A vaccine is something that you inject in your body and it protects you from getting sick. Okay. What's been your experience? Have you ever gotten a vaccine? What's that felt like? I got the flu vaccine every single year. Okay. It's like a pinch. Yeah, but it's not so bad, right? It's doable. And I was wondering what is the magic in the vaccine that you protects you from the virus? And I was like so surprised to know it's literally the virus itself. Yeah, so basically the way we do it is, have you ever seen like um, a crime movie or a Western where when the police are looking for a suspect, they put up all these posters around town and they're saying, this is the suspect, this is who we wanna find. So that when the police or the law enforcement officers see them, they know exactly who to grab. The same thing happens with the vaccine. Generally speaking with all vaccines, we give uh, something that looks like the virus or a small piece of the virus, something that can't actually cause you any harm. And then from that, your body creates this defense so that if it ever runs into the real thing, the AKA suspect, it catches it, it prevents it from doing any real harm. Does that make sense? Yep. So when you inject the vaccine, it's like a ninja and it kicks the virus out once the, our body knows how to um, fight the virus. Yeah, basically like imagine you're training for the NBA. You wanna be an NBA star, right? In order to play in the NBA, you gotta practice a lot. You gotta get ready. And by giving your body the vaccine, you're actually helping your body practice so that if it ever is to come into contact with the real virus, it can kick its butt. And that's really the whole premise between vaccinations and preventing illness. So if you have an opportunity to get the vaccine and it's safe, I hope you get it. A pinch is totally worth not getting sick. <laughs> I love it, Abhijay, that's great. Abhijay, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Hey, Cindy, how are you? Thank you so much for joining us. I'm so excited to have you and chat all things COVID-19 vaccination. Who is this special guest we have with us? Max. <laughs> What's up, Max? Is he going to be chatting COVID-19 vaccines as well? Uh, well, I guess so, huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Cindy, can you tell us your current understanding of how COVID-19 vaccinations work? Well, from my understanding, it's basically as any other vaccine, so where they add part of the activated virus, so the body can actually kind of get trained to respond to it. Is that right? Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, the whole idea between all the different vaccines out there is to present some part of the virus, one that's not going to get you sick with it, well, it will allow your own body to be able to fight off the virus if you encountered it in your everyday life. I'm curious, have you heard any theories as to how some of these vaccinations work or perhaps some fears about how they work? In my case, for example, I'm breastfeeding. So um, like how, how it could affect both of us, yeah. the baby and myself. Of course, that's such an important question to talk about. And I think it's an important conversation for you to have with your primary care doctor or the pediatrician. The research that we're seeing now, which is preliminary research, is mothers being able to transmit antibodies, which is the protective part that your immune system makes after being exposed to the vaccine or to the virus, actually get transferred to the baby while the baby is inside of you and through breast milk. Now, this is preliminary research, but it's very exciting because if we find later on that this is in fact true, it's going to be even a bigger reason why we would recommend new mothers to get vaccinated. Well, I'm actually looking forward to get it as soon as possible. Well, thank you so much, Cindy, for joining us today. Max, you want to give us a wave Bye -bye. here? Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye, Max. Joining us now, we have Alexandra Maldonado, who is a 24-year-old PhD candidate from Puerto Rico studying genetics and epigenetics. Tell me, Alexandra, what do you know about the COVID-19 vaccines that we ought to know? 
In short, vaccines all train your immune system on how to recognize the coronavirus. And the only thing that is different is the teaching mechanism on how it trains the immune system. Alexandra, I want to talk to you a little bit about specifically these new uh, novel approaches with the mRNA vaccines. Does it have the side effect profile that is ultimately safe? It is some side effects, but uh, it, it's the same side effects as for all of the vaccines that we're getting since we're little kids, like a sore arm. Maybe you have a little bit of fever, and, but everything is just your body reacting to it because it wants to protect you with all its force. Do you think it's valuable for us to change the name of these effects that we get after the vaccine from side effects, like we're calling them something bad, as opposed to like intended effects? Yeah, definitely, I agree. It's part of what science communication it has to be about. So yeah, changing the name will be perfect because <laughs> it's, it's well, so scary. <laughs> Alexandra, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Hey everybody, I'm joined with Robin Nandy, the Chief of Immunization for UNICEF. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for all the amazing work that you're doing. Can you tell us a little bit about how the COVID-19 vaccine actually works? All COVID vaccines work on the same basic principle. They induce immune responses to the SARS-CoV-2 spike protein. The spike protein is what the virus uses to attach and penetrate cells. The vaccine could use uh, either the virus, a part of the virus, or something that to the immune system looks like the virus. And, and, and that mounts the uh, antibody response, the neutralizing antibody response uh, that prevents the spike protein from attaching and it protects you from the, uh, the virus infection. What do you think is the most important way to make sure that we get these vaccines distributed quickly, but also fairly and universally as well? Once countries receive vaccines, we want to make sure that they are equitably dis distributed in the population. We want to make sure that the vaccine reaches those that need them most. If we don't have an equitable, uh, universal approach to distributing these vaccines, uh, there are problems that can evolve that will affect all of us, including variants. How are they impacted by the COVID-19 vaccinations? Variants are small changes in the genetic uh, 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 structure of the viruses. The longer the virus circulates, the higher the chances of variants. So let's use our vaccines uh, optimally so we reduce the chances of variants. Very true. Thank you so much, Dr. Nandy, for joining us today. Thank you, Dr. Mike. Thank you.